so today uh, video we are going to do uh, with respect to power automate or flow so we are going to design a flow uh, the purpose of the flow would be say for example this is the document library and any change that we make to any one of the files okay uh, uh, so this is one of the files if I select it make changes to any one of the properties of the file right so these are the different properties name uh, title so let's see what is editable in this so title document id title is editable modified by right, id so whichever is editable any changes that we make uh, to it then the file will be moved to some other different folder in our case what we'll do is we'll move the file from document folder to new lip document folder document library okay so let's get started so first what we'll do is if you click here you get the option to integrate and you can go to power automate create a flow so first I'll go to see your flow so that uh, the flow admin center opens up okay so we have our flow here let's create a new flow new flow from template or automated flow let's go by automated crowd flow name of the flow so we are going to name it move file when property changes okay move file when property changes I choose a trigger so we are going to skip that for now here we are oh, this also got skipped. here you go okay so first let's take a when a file so when an item or a file is modified we'll create a when a file is created properties only uh, when a file is created or modified properties only okay deleted when a file is created properties only when a file is modified when a file is modified properties only when a file is created so first let's take for sharepoint so for sharepoint what we have is when an item is created when an item is created for properties only it has two so i want modified as well so we'll take this one okay so let's go to our site uh, take the site url this is our site url okay there we found it library name so that's the document library and the folder uh, shared documents we'll just take it till the shared documents it's not needed the library name is enough i guess okay now show advanced step options this column by view not needed okay so our first is done when a file is created or modified files uh, properties only now once the property is being modified what we'll do is we have to move the file okay so here it is move file that's again the current site so I picked it up uh, file to move yeah here. folder path full path let's take it full path this is not a folder but rather a file that we will be taking 
full path destination if we want to move it to some other side in our case we are moving to the same side just to a different destination folder so let's take it to a different folder Mm, what is the library? Where is it? New library. Here it is. Okay. If another file is already there. Okay. So we have three uh, possible options. Fail this action. Move with a new name or replace. I will fail this action. You can select based on your requirement. So that is it. Uh, very simple. Let's save it. Okay. So our flow is ready. Now let's. It says, let's test it. Okay. So flow checker. No any. No warnings. Uh, test. So. Uh, manually we can perform the trigger or automatically so uh, we have selected an automated flow so there is no run for this flow because obviously there is no changes being made to any of the properties so let's go to our source so this is our source document library and so we and this is our destination so let's check in destination we have two files one is uh, 4.png another one is artificial intelligence copy 10 okay so in their id is one and two so let's do one thing let's change one of the files uh, let's go to the third folder okay All right, so this is this will be by the same name. So let's do artificial intelligence copy 11. So what we'll do here is let's so the properties are title, document ID value, uh, document ID modified, modified by name, All right, and ID. Um, the only editable things are title and modified by right modified by also you cannot change it's going to pick it on its own so title is the only one let's save it so there we go we've made changes to this file properties this file let's refresh again has not moved to the new folder yet let's go back to a flow run history so this has failed uh, let's check us so the in moving the file it has missing or mismatched field definition the destination list for source field a test type test source site template id global web target global web id total block root objects in this operation is one what has happened missing or mismatch field definition and destination list for source field test type text okay so let's check there is a column uh, mismatch there in fields <coughs> destination and source has different columns that is causing the issue so what i'm going to do now is uh, we will have somewhat of a similar column so as you can status and requester are two columns here one that was giving us the issue that has been deleted 
so if we go to the new library we can create we have to create a column here let's create choice column by the name of status okay save so this is done now if you see uh, in the flow error it says source file status type choice missing a mismatch field definition in the destination okay so now let's edit test again test test there is one more field right requester it should come up let's see as i said uh, there is a requester field type a user which is missing i can delete it from the source or i can create it this destination so i have deleted one uh, i've created the same as the destination one so source one sorry what i'm going to do is see most probably you won't be able to delete in the circumstances that you are but since i've already shown you one example of creating the same column let me just go and delete that column there and that should resolve the issue library settings mine is a test environment so i can delete but in production we are going to face issue so requester i am going to delete so the mismatch won't be there right you have two options source and destination if they are different fields then you can create the same field at the destination which is there in the source or you can delete it at the source itself the second option is mostly not possible in the organizations when they are dealing in the production side so they can rather create it at the destination location okay we are still getting error mm, missing destination field source field data requested type oh i've created a lot of columns here which are giving us issue okay i'm going to go through this real fast edit delete delete okay so we have request id status title ah, let's let's check again done so it's now moving the file we can see 6 seconds 11 seconds your flow ran successfully voila okay so let us see the file that is moved to the destination is artificial intelligence 11 all right so it was modified title was modified and this file has been moved so this is a simple flow where if the properties have been modified then the file was moved to a new location it can be a different site or within the same site a different document library altogether the columns have to be same for it to move